Hey everyone, this is Thruvin and I welcome you all to Power BI Paginated Report Step by Step series. You are watching second part of this series and in this session I am going to give you an overview about Power BI Report Builder. In our earlier sessions, we have discussed that how we can download and install Power BI Report Builder. If you haven't visited my earlier sessions, links are always down below in the description box. Now, let's get started with our second session of this series. So here I am on my screen and here I have pinned my Power BI Report Builder on my taskbar. So I am clicking on that and it is launching Power BI Report Builder for me over here. When it launched the Power BI Report Builder, the first section that you are able to see on your screen is getting started screen. Now this getting started screen is something which provides you three different options. You can create new report using wizard. You can open your existing report or you can view the recently opened report. When you want to create new report using wizard, there are different options available. You can either create it using table or matrix wizard, chart wizard, or map wizard and if you want to create it from blank you can simply choose blank report from here at the bottom of the screen you are able to see and checkbox that let's say for an example when you open the power bi report builder for the next time and you do not want to see this getting started screen you can simply check that and it will not show this option again to you now let me close this option and now let me give you the overall idea about the Power BI Report Builder in detail over here. When you open the Power BI Report Builder, you are able to see this kind of screen on your machine. Maybe the layout may be different when you open this for the first time. So make sure that you go to the view menu and check all of this option. So all the component of the report builder will visible to you on your screen that I am going to explain you at this moment. Now. Let's talk about each individual elements in detail over here. So when you open the Power BI Report Builder for the first time, visit the top left corner. On the top left corner, you are able to see the quick access command where you are able to see the save, undo and redo command. Then if you visit the top right corner, you are able to see the sign in option. Sign in option is something which is responsible while you are publishing this report to Power BI service. Then on the top right corner as well, you can see the minimize, maximize and close icon for easy access. Then if you visit the middle section of your screen, you are able to see this canvas. This canvas is called as report canvas, where you can add different element for your paginated reports like header, footer, tables, charts, anything and you can prepare pixel perfect report over here. Now, in order to get pixel perfection, one more thing is provided over on your canvas that is called as ruler. So you can see that here ruler is provided. You can see horizontal and vertical ruler from here. If you wanted to hide that, just go to the view menu and just click on ruler. But I strongly recommend to open the ruler on your screen to build pixel perfect paginated report. Then you are able to see the report data section over here. Report data section is something which is responsible for your data source and data set connections as well as built in fields, parameters and images. Now if I expand built in field, so what do we mean by built in fields? Built-in fields are something which shows the execution time, language, overall page number, overall total pages, page name, page number, render format, name, report folder, report name, report server URL, total pages and user ID. So these are all the built-in fields available when you are creating the paginated report. Then there is a second option called parameters. 
Now parameters are something which is similar to SQL Server stored procedure parameter. So let's say for an example you are building one report and you wanted to add employee number as parameter that user type in the parameter as employee number and based on that your report will be visible to you. So that is considered as parameter and these parameters are available on the top center over here. So all the defined parameter from your report will be visible to you on the parameter sections over here. Then there is an image. So let's say for an example you are uploading any images for your paginated report. All the images are goes under this email section. Data sources. Whenever you are starting to develop any paginated report the very first step is that defining the data sources. So at this moment few data sources are supported. We will talk more about this on the next part of this session where we are going to show you how you can connect data source for a paginated report. So it is responsible for that thing. And data set is something let's say for an example you have established your connection and after that you have selected few tables or stored procedures result. So these are showing as under data set section to you. So this is the overall idea about the report data pen over here. Then there is one more panel available which is property panel. Property panel is something which is showing all the properties for the selected item from the canvas. All the properties from the property pen are sorted based on the alphabetical order. So let's say for an example at this moment I have selected this particular title section over here. So you can see that all the properties are available over here. Now let's say I want to change any color property so I just need to select this color property and from the drop down I can simply change the property over here right. So this is called as property pen. Now at the bottom center section you are able to see two different section that are row groups and column groups. Those are responsible for your data grouping. So if you wanted to group your rows based on the different column you can choose column groups and row groups option. Now there is one more important element available on the screen which is called as ribbon. So this is called as ribbon in paginated report. Now this is similar like other office products ribbon. Now here we have four different menu options available. The first menu is file menu. It is responsible for creating new paginated report. Open the existing paginated report from PC or Power BI service save and save as option and to publish the report to power bi service then there is a another menu option that is called home so in home you can run the report there are other formatting options as well available over here and you can simply publish this report using this ribbon option over here as well then there is a another option called insert so you can insert different table matrix list chart gauge, map, data bar, sparkline, indicator, text boxes, images, line, rectangular, different things on your paginated report. You can also create sub reports and add header and footer for your paginated report as well using this property. Then we will talk more about all of this property later on this session and I am going to walk you through with each individual things in detail. So do not worry about that and at last view menu we already talked about so let's say uh, if any of the elements from your screen if you want to show and hide you can simply check it out from here right. So this is the ribbon section. Now last but the most important at the bottom right corner you are able to see other property called zoom in and zoom out. So if you wanted to increase the width and height of your canvas you can just zoom in and zoom out from here. Then there is also called another property called run option. So when you click on run it will show you the preview of your report. So at this moment I do not have anything on my screen instead of the current date time. So it is showing me this thing to me over here. But apart from that you are able to see different options over here. So the first option is design. So if you wanted to switch yourself from this run mode to design mode simply click on that. You can zoom in and zoom out your report using this option. 
then there are different pages available as the name is paginated report so it will give you the pixel perfect view and uh, show the data into different pages so you can go to previous and next page using this property then there is a property called refresh so if you wanted to refresh your data just use this option then there is an option called print and print layout as well as the export property so you can export the report into word excel powerpoint pdf tiff mhtml csv and xml file right so these are the different properties that are available in the run mode of your paginated report so let me switch to the design so let me switch to the design view and we are back over here so this is the overall idea about the power bi report builder that you are able to see on your screen hope this is helpful to you. Now, in the next session, we are going to establish one data source connection and start to prepare paginated report. So, stay tuned to my next session. Till then, if you have any question, you can add your question in the comment section. I would happy to hear from you. If you are for the first time to my channel, make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel. If you are looking for any consultancy, you can simply click on this website icon. This will redirecting you to my website and you can add and fill your questions over there as well. I am uploading new video related Power BI, Power Apps, Power Automate, Power Virtual Agents, Teams and SharePoint every day on my channel. So make sure that you hit subscribe and press the bell notification so you will never miss any updates from my channel. If you wanted to follow me on my different social media handles, just click on this link. It will redirecting you to this particular page. From here, you can follow me on all my social media handles like YouTube, website, Instagram, LinkedIn, blogs, Twitter, Facebook and GitHub. Also, if you wanted to learn different things on Instagram, here is the Instagram icon. Click on that. It will redirecting you to my Instagram page. Over here, you can de learn different power platform concepts on different posts, reels, IGTV videos and much more. So make sure that you follow me on my Insta handle as well. The Insta handle is Power Platform Guy. Also, if you wanted to learn more about Power Platform related podcast, then click on this link. It will redirecting you to this particular screen. Over here, you can listen different Power Platform audiogram on different podcast platform like Google Podcast, Apple Podcast, Spotify and much more. Also, if you are interested for different short video related power platform, here is a separate channel called Digital Thruvin. Click on that, it will redirecting you to this new screen. Over here, you can listen different short video related power platform. So, subscribe this channel and show your love over there as well. This is Thruvin signing off. See you in the next session. Have a great day. Goodbye.